safe and well and our regular look at what's on UK Freeview TV in the company of what's on TV this week. So we'll have a look for it. As we get into June, glorious June, oh, I've got my hoodie back on, but it's not cold, cold, but it's uh, not warm, warm either. Uh, we're going to look at Saturday the 10th to Friday the 16th of June, please. If you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, it's great to have you on board. Everything film and TV, of course, including information blogs like this. So if you can give us a, a like, push that little thumbs up button. I'm trying to get to about 10 if I can. It's proving difficult, but please get me to that 10. I'll be very grateful. Right, let's start. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Let's start from Saturday the 10th. Uh, do you like a bit of Barry Manilow? Yes. Uh, does his face move these days when he sings? I'm not too sure. BBC Two on Saturday, 8.25. An evening of programmes dedicated to the singer-songwriter. I used to like him back in the day with my, with my ex. I used to quite like him. But uh, he, he just makes me laugh a little bit now when I watch, watch him perform, unfortunately. But he's still still got a lot. But it's not a bad voice, though, has he? Still, still okay. Same with Saturday. 10th of June, Channel 5, 8.25, how about a little bit of Michael Crawford, fancy that? Some mothers do have them, 50 years of laughs, yes. Uh, One-off celebration of Raymond Allen's sitcom, which starred Michael Crawford, of course, is the accident-prone poor old Frank. I always felt sorry for Betty, but uh, she did her best, didn't she? Uh, staying with Saturday, 9 o'clock on BBC4, The Law of Tehran. This is a subtitled death thriller. Persian thriller. Police officer's pursuit of a drug kingpin leads him down a dark path rife with corruption. So that's, if you like, you don't mind your subtitles, that's BBC4, 9 o'clock. Over to Sunday. You've got your soccer aid on. Uh, I will be, uh, yes, I will hopefully, when this kicks off, 6.30, I'll be still celebrating a Champions League win in Istanbul. That's where I'm going. So I won't be watching soccer aid for UNICEF from, from the, well, Old Trafford, we call it the old, the toilet, actually, uh, or City fans, because it's uh, it's pretty much falling falling down. It needs a bit of a remake, I think. So that's 6.30 ITV one. Obviously, if you enjoy that sort of thing, not my sort of thing, whether I'm here or not. Uh, same with Sunday, 7 o'clock, Elizabeth, A Life Through a Lens. That's on Channel 4, a one-off to examining how Queen Elizabeth II handled life on the screen over the course of her reign. Still miss her. Channel 5 at 6.30, when cruising goes horribly wrong. Yes, one-off featuring first-hand accounts of disasters at sea, including a 60,000-ton liner that crashed into a pier and a tourist boat in Venice that um, sort, of, sort of went wrong. Yes, so I, I love those buses in Venice. I love travelling around. On, I know they're up the boat, they're just buses, but I just that's all part of the treat of it. On to Monday the 12th of June, 9 o'clock, a uh, drama series starring Sharon Hogan called Best Interest, one of four. Uh, I don't know if this is brand new. I don't remember seeing this before. And it continues all week. And it stars Sharon Hogan, Michael Sheen and Noma Dumezweni. A couple are driven apart over the decision of whether to stop care for their daughter's deteriorating health. Uh, sounds a bit gritty, doesn't it? Same with Monday the 12th of June, Sarah Beanie. Sarah Beanie versus cancer. Let's hope she wins. Nine o'clock, a one-off in which new life in the country presenter explores breast cancer treatment in the UK. And at nine o'clock on Channel 5, Police Night Shift 999 Return. If you like that one, the Return of the Crime documentary series following the work of Gloucestershire Constabulary. During the night shift, the show, the show gets a little bit busy. Stay with Monday the 12th of June, 10.05 on ITV. You've got Deep Fake Neighbour Wars. I'm still not too sure what this is. Uh, one of six, the UK's best new impressionists are turned into famous celebrities. Yeah, I had something similar last week. I still don't know what it is. Let me know, guys, if you know what it is. BBC Three, nine o'clock, Calamity James. No, not the film, Calamity Jane. Calamity James, comedy short about a man afflicted with Chronic Bad Luck stars Dylan Blore. And at 9.15, well, it's not for long, is it? Where It Ends, a comedy short starring Jack Robertson. So you want a bit, a bit of comedy for half an hour. BBC Three, over to ITV Four, seven o'clock, Battle Box. Yeah, the fourth series, if you've watched this before, it's not something I've watched. And the show kicks off with 67 bots as they face off to become the Battle Bots World Champions. It's like Robot Wars in the old days, but I uh, assume it's like that. Again, let me know. ITV Four, ITV Four, nine o'clock, The Motorbike Show. Yeah, Henry Cole rides a Royal Enfield Super Meteor in Monmouthshire. I'm sure that's uh, some people are going, oh, wow. Um, 
plus a feature on the 75th anniversary of the BSA Bantam. So you were biker boys. That's probably more interest to you. On to Tuesday, the 13th of June, BBC Two, nine o'clock, Af Africa Rising, with a, a through a Hirsch, a one of three a series. The writer and broadcaster explores how young creatives are reinventing culture across Africa. She begins in Morocco. Yes, I've been to Morocco. ITV One, eight o'clock, the Martin Lewis Money Show is back, and it's a special. The financial expert, City fan, you know Martin. This financial expert provides a catch up as the summer season looms, including updates on the national insurance deadline for state pensions and the answers to family finance questions nine o'clock channel five on the tuesday the 13th of june jay blades from is it from the repair shop i think isn't it east end through time this is one of three a series following the repair shop presents as he explores the fascinating history of london's east end from the shoreditch site where william shakespeare formed to the tale of the original jack the lad good old jack the lad Right, on to Wednesday. Wednesday, the 14th of June, 10.40, staged. Is there a version? This is one of six. Return of the comedy series starring David Tennant and Michael Sheen. I think I like this. I can't remember now. Uh, Simon manages to manipulate David and Michael to work with him again. Eight o'clock on Channel 5 on the Wednesday. We've got holiday scams. Don't get caught out. No, you, don't know, you don't want to get caught out by scams, do you? In the documentary which Alex, Alexis Conrad exposes the tricks of holiday scammers talking to victims who have thousands of pounds out of pocket and experts who know the scammer's secret. Yeah, you need to catch them all and lock them up and throw away the flipping key. On to Thursday, the 4th, 15th of June, how to win the ashes. Well, that'll come in handy, won't it? 7 o'clock BBC 1. Uh, BBC Two, sorry, how a one-off documentary looking at what it takes to lift the most famous trophy in cricket. Well, just just beat them. That's simple as that. Nine o'clock BBC Two. Oh, should have asked me. Could have saved a program. Nine o'clock. Scandalous phone hacking on trial. A one-off about allegations that several newspapers hacked the phones of high-profile people in order to gather information for stories. Oh, surely not. Surely not. Channel Four. At nine o'clock. Britain's most expensive houses. I'm not in one myself. Return of the doc documentary series going behind the scenes with UK some of this international reality. This edition features a grade one listed terraced home built in 1822 overlooking Regent's Park. So it's lovely. Same with Thursday, 15th of June, 8 o'clock, Channel 5, Jersey and Guernsey, one of six, a series celebrating the beauty and heritage of the Channel Islands. I've not been, I'll have to go one day. Ten, uh, 9 o'clock, Wayne Cousins, Killer in Plain Sight. This is a one-off about the serving police officer who kidnapped, raped and murdered 33-year-old Sarah Everard in 2021, shocking the nation and putting the police force under cross under severe scrutiny. I'm sure it did. Oh, so no wonder. Same with Thursday the 15th of June. Nine o'clock. More for the Great British Dig. There you go. History in your back garden. There's probably not much in mind. A few pots, but uh, yeah, I don't think they're. I don't think they're worth anything. A few broken bits of crockery, but not, not uh, certainly not very old. Uh, yeah. So this is a recently discovered Roman fort in Cornwall. Yeah, sort of thing I usually like. I'm, I'm trying to remember to tape that, but I'll probably forget. Over to Friday the 16th of June at 9:30. A, a new Catherine Tate. You like a bit of Catherine Tate? Queen of Oz, one of six. A comedy starring Catherine Tate, a princess is sent to Australia to mend her scandalous ways. Naughty Catherine, what have you been doing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Staying with Friday, 16th of June, BBC Four. Yes, they all came out to Montreux. There you go, a bit, a bit of culture. One of three, like your jazz. One of three, the history of the Montreux Jazz Festival is followed by two of three featuring Carol King and three of three, MT last in the series with Marvin Gaye and Ray Charles. And finally, on Friday, the 16th of June, over to Sky Arts. We've finished a little bit of music, a bit of culture, haven't we? Seven o'clock, the Isle of Wight Festival. If you've been, no, not been to the Isle of Wight either, including live coverage of Pulp. Yeah, so you fancy a bit of Pulp from the Isle of Wight. That's from 7 o'clock, so it's 6 hours, 7 till 1 a.m., so there should be plenty, plenty to go out there. Oh, there you go, guys, as I say. Um, most of this I'll be uh, I'll be over in Turkey, so I won't be watching much, but I'll have to set my record button for one or two things. Won't I? Let me know what you're looking forward to. It'd be great to hear from you. Until we meet again, and the happy circumstances hopefully after my weekend but uh, it's not up to me is it it's up to those guys in sky blue but we'll, we'll see
we'll see how it goes. A good week last week of the uh, FA Cup final, so the, fingers crossed that's all for more. Well, for me anyway, obviously, if you don't like City, it doesn't matter to you, does it? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know, let me know your comments on what's on TV or anything to do with films and TV. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone.